you join me at the FA Trophy as we go one nil down to Hungerford. That's a great start to this episode. This game's mental. So first of all, I meant to play my subkeeper, right? And I decided to bring him on at half time. Big manager brain moves, right? So this is at 1-1. Uh, this is about the 41st minute. Got the ball, get the ball around. Shot at the post, bit lucky, 2-1. Going to half time, 2 up, thinking, I'll oh, relax against Hungerford, league below. 46th minute, get it. Good win, shot, 3-1, what a player he is. We're on our way to the next one, the FA Trophy. Genius here, obviously with a new keeper in goal. I think it's fine, crossed in. Good win, 4-1. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Well, what could go wrong here? So Hungerford got the ball. Down that usual ball, obviously 4-2. That's still with Halstead in goal. Must point out, still with Halstead in goal. I brought him up 4-2, I remember now. No, it's Lovett in goal. I thought, you know, let's just give Lovett a game. I meant to, to, to like give him a chance. No chance for that, 4-3. Bit worrying though, because he had three goals to um, Hungerford and then Jarvis pit pockets them, just an absolute mess by them at the back. And Jarvis gets his rule 5 3, 71st minute. It's not done there though. They get the ball, just that high line's done. Three on goal, doesn't save it. That's fair enough. 5 4, this unbelievable game. Just horrific that we've conceded four goals. And again, they've done us again. 5 5, unbelievable, the 80th minute. I just could not believe it. Then 85th minute where Gavin puts a ball in. Hanson save. Ali Omar, 6-5 in a slightly weakened team. 88th minute, you're thinking 11 goals. Uh -uh. Make that 12. We drew 6 all. They went to a replay. 6 all. Why did I change the key? I mean, how still was that? doing great anyway. 6 all. 4.66 extra, 35 shots. We scored 6. You can't ask for much more. We just kept on by that. I should have dropped the defensive line. So we went to the replay. And again, it's easy watching back now what I've done, but this guy doesn't save anything. I, I started Love It. He was had a nightmare on telly in real life yesterday. Ball comes in, and then this is the worst one. Just threw him. It hit his face. It's 2-0. We're going out of the FA Trophy. After a disaster in the FA Cup. We didn't even get to it. We're going out of the FA Trophy. Like, I did make a few changes. Emery gets one back from a lovely cross by Corey Andrews. 57 minute Dowling with the ball at their defense was clamped as that was their keeper. Just doesn't know what he's done there. He's just not got the ball. And then it's 2 2. The 100th minute now, an extra time against Hungerford after all this. And then they go through and he's not going to save it, is it? Let's be honest. Um, unbelievable. Anyway, 112th minute. That's the ball. Good win. 3 all. We're saved. Are we saved? Are we going to penalties? 115th minute, Marshall tries to get a free kick, but lovely ball back in. Dowling heads it down. Andrews, 4-3. Unbelievable. What a tie. An absolute waste of time, you could say, because that's what 180 minutes was another 30 to get through. And it was 5-3 in the end. A 6 or draw and a 5-3 win to get through. Going into Yobot home on Boxing Day. We're one point behind them. One point. They we get the early chance, good win with an act was it an accidental goal? Was that an own goal? I'm not too sure. One nil up, 83rd minute. We were, took them to 83rd minute. They over got the chance, put it in 1 1, 84th minute. There, where it ends, we'll go mental in real life if that happens. But then in the 90th minute, what a ball! Good win 2 1. We're going top of the National League. We're going top of the National League. What have I put key highlights on? What have I put goals? 92nd minute. Human. Drew 2-2. Two, two. What a game, though. And we played them next. So another chance to go top of the league. Um, yeah. Frustrating. Frustrating. Good win scoring two goals. Just didn't win. Going into the away game. Wow. What a game. Dean Moxie, four minutes in, 1-0 up. They had a man sent off. We then had a man sent off. So it's 10 v 10 at this point already. And we're in the 34th minute. Everyone's getting 2-0. Just a ridiculous, ridiculous game. We won 2 0. Uh, I think we've got the red cards. Well, oh, they are after the goal. Sorry. But we won 2 0. And we're top of the league. I'll show the table in a minute. We're top of the league. Um, go in the new year on New Year's Day. Could we do what we, you know, it's a silly that we're in this position. We should not be this high up. We've got some good players. I've got some good wingers in. We've got some good holding fielders. We signed uh, George Dowling. A uh, bit of a controversial one. Basically, he played for. Torquay in 2017. Really impressive. He then got jailed for a street fight. He like kicks some unconscious person or something, and then he's battled prison playing well. But he, he came up on a free transfer, and I took it because we needed the field. Then going to this game, looking to back up that win against Yeovil. Great play, one nil up early on. Good win with the goal. What a lad! He's on fire. Twenty minutes in, 
Just Ali Omar. He's got another one. Ali Omar, what a guy. Happens to play him a bit. And we'll just rotate it a bit. Scores us on fire. This uh, Yeovil won a game in the hand and then we also went back with 3 0 in 34 minutes um, against Halifax. And 4 0 in the, that was weird goalkeeping in the 74th minute. Went 4 0. Team's pretty consistent at this stage. Omar played and scored. I played two left foot seven backs. So Ideal House had an absolute amazing game, 7.6. Um, Wyatt, a bit of poor one, but Tiny's done solid. Top of the league. We then beat well in in the FA Trophy. I can't just go that one. We signed this guy on loan um, from Norwich. I still love it. Still some wages. Got this guy, uh, no wages. It's been number two. We um, let in the first thought we come back to see Kieran Evans. Nice to see him scoring. So we're up to date where the table is. This is the table. 27 games in. Top of the league. How yo, these two teams are top. The rest of it, I mean, you're Amnon Goals. Well, they had the potential to. It's ridiculous. But no, where's Wrexham? No, wait, they're 16th. Got Gary Monk in charge. I was 16th for the team they have. It's ridiculous. Um, mental. What are they playing? That's crazy. Um, but yeah, I think he's 16th for that team. Anyway, that's where we are in a minute. Up the yellows. Boren Wood next away. We had a good chance early on. Good win. What a finish. He is so good. Honestly, good win. Um, then Moxie had an uncharacteristic nightmare and Byron would equalise to make it 1-1. Uh, and then Evan sets up. He's back from injury now, which is good. Um, scored a penalty straight down the middle. And then he set up another one, 3-1, which is all well and good. Uh, and then Byron would did get one back later on, but we would hold on to win 3-2. Big away win. How said this? I don't know what he's doing. I'll probably lead to the end of the season. It's not been bad, but he's not been incredible. Now, what happened before this game? Asa Hall, one of my best midfielders, club legend, obviously at the end of his career, um, got in just six, seven months, probably just a bit before this game. And that was his season. It's probably his career over, which is annoying. Every FM save you do, or what I've ever done with Torquay, Asa Hall always gets a seven month injury, and it's so annoying. It's a big blow, but we've got Dowling. It's one of the main reasons we've got Dowling in. So, um, yeah, and the fence was a bit shocking. Now, I've got this guy in as well. We had a bit of a nightmare debut, but it will come good. Um, he's a very decent centre back. So, yeah, still improving the 